Hi, this is Bruce Ah from Partija Blockchain Foundation. I wanted to take a few moments out to give you some of my personal thoughts on the recently announced BYOC framework, which is live now, and and uh, we'll, we're preparing some instructions, additional instructions to help you add the a currency of your choice uh, into our ecosystem, and so. Recently, I've been traveling around quite a bit, and right now I'm in South Korea uh, for Korea Blockchain Week. Next week, I'll be in Singapore for Token 2049. And when I'm traveling these days, I'm reminded of how travel used to be, where if I went to another country, I would need to take the currency that I had, and then I would need to exchange it at the airport or in the bank to the currency that I needed to use in uh, in the country that I was going to or the country that I, I landed in. And now everything is so convenient. Um, you know, I, I buy everything now and able to buy everything with you know, my, my credit card, um, whether it's train tickets, uh, taxi, uh, hotel, meals, coffee, you know, just swipe a card and they accept it and, and off I go. And you can kind of see that analogy in the current cryptocurrency or the blockchain industry where if you are transacting in one ecosystem you know one l1 chain and you want to interact with another uh, dApp perhaps in another ecosystem well it's like going to bank you got to go and exchange your currency from one to another and and then you're able to utilize it uh, and then transact in the other chain that you want to transact in and this really doesn't promote interoperability, which we believe is a key uh, function that is necessary for the blockchain industry to continue to prosper. And so this is why our BYOC framework is so important to us and why uh, giving that power of adding a new token into the ecosystem back to the community was so important to us. So at a very high level, we are handing over the keys to the ecosystem, to the community, and allow you to be able to propose uh, a token that, that you feel would add value back into the ecosystem. And it fits really well to the overall vision of enabling not just uh, the people that are building on top of our chain um, to gain access to our multi-party computation technology, right? It actually now enables other tokens, other ecosystems uh, to now come into our system and take advantage of uh, MPC without needing to port their token to another version or, or, or another uh, currency, our currency, and, and go through that whole hassle of going to, an ex you know, going to that bank to, to exchange it, right? So right now, it currently supports any tokens running on Ethereum. Polygon and the BNB chain, and as we add other L1 chains into our bridge, uh, then you'll be able to add additional different types of tokens. Uh, our current initial uh, two tokens that we're looking to enable is uh, the Matic token and USDT, and then we'll be allowing, with the instructions, allowing you guys to add additional tokens into our ecosystem. Maybe you want uh, a wrapped BTC, perhaps you want uh, Shiba Inu, who knows? right and so we're really excited uh, to take our first step in, in in allowing the community to take you know make decisions uh, on behalf of the community uh, and, and, and make decisions in the direction of the chain uh, so please uh, be on the lookout for additional instructions on how you can add additional coins into our ecosystem and and, and add value back into our chain so thank you very much